Hey guys, today we're going to talk about your Zillow Zestimate and how accurate it may or may not be. Stay to the end because I'm going to show you how you might be able to improve your Zillow Zestimate. Hey everyone again and thanks for joining me. My name is Toby Russell, Realtor here in North Carolina. So today we're talking about the Zestimate or Zillow's Estimate of your home's value. Now, how do they come up with this? Well, of course, it's a computer algorithm that they've patented that compares your home to other homes in the area that have sold that are similar. Uh, now, the problem with the way Zillow's system does it is it sees a three bedroom, two bath with 1,500 square feet and compares it to a three bedroom, two bath with 1,500 square feet, roughly. The problem with that is Zillow cannot see your house. They don't know that your house built in 1970 was updated to this date's upgrades. Uh, you don't know that you put in the marble countertops or redone the kitchen or redone the bathrooms or put in new flooring, has a new roof, new HVAC. It's going to compare your house that's just been remodeled and you spent God knows what to your neighbor's house that still has the shag carpeting in the bathroom. Zillow doesn't know that your backyard doesn't overlook a highway. Zillow doesn't know that you just built a brand new porch on last year. Even Zillow itself says that this is a starting point. Um, if you dig in depth to the back end of Zillow, it'll tell you they say it has a 10% accuracy, which, depending on how much your house is worth, 10% can be quite a bit. Um, I've heard of them being 5%, I've heard of them being 20%. <clears throat> now the problem with the Zestimate is a lot of people think it is accurate when it really isn't. Say you're getting ready to sell your house, a buyer is gonna look up your property probably on Zillow, unfortunately, they're gonna see that Zestimate and they're gonna wonder why you're asking 30,000 over what the Zestimate says. Uh, there's actually lawsuits now from what I hear that um, people are suing Zillow because they are degrading the buyer's opinion of value of their house. That's why it's always smart to have a real person come in and take a look at your home so that they can compare it visually with the upgrades of other homes that have sold in the area. Same square footage, same views. Views really come into play a big part when you're in a major city or on a mountaintop or near a lake. Views can make a big difference in the, your home's value that Zillow can't see. So let's go in the computer and let's take a look at how you might be able to improve your home's estimate. All right guys, here we are in a neighborhood I own property in and I just want to take a quick look here here and uh, let's just say I own this one I've already claimed my property so we're looking at another property and this is my, one of my neighbors and you'll look at owner tools and if you scroll down where it talks about overview and facts and features you can click the edit button and it will ask you to verify that you own the property or claim ownership and here you gotta put in all your information and they send you all this other stuff and eventually they figure out, okay, you are the owner. Once you've done that, you can scroll down here and you, then when you click the edit button, it'll come up here with all your information. Now, of course, the more information you put in, the better because that's what Zillow really goes off of is the information it's provided based on your Zestimate. So I have a two bed, two bath, had a two bed, two bath. Now I have a three bed, three bath, two bath. My square footage has increased. My square footage has increased by roughly 200 square feet. So we'll add 200 to that. Lot size, of course, still the same, still built the same year. Structural remodel year, I'm gonna go when I bought it, 2010, roughly, even though we're constantly remodeling something. Has hardwood and tile, don't know if that'll help or hurt. Does not have a fireplace. 
So you can see even some of the facts that we had on my own house were a little off. Well guys, I hope you learned something today. I hope that was at least a little bit helpful and help you understand why your Zestimate may not be exactly as accurate as you think it is. And you might should call an expert to get your home's value. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see y'all next week. One, two, three, let's switch this up.